What's up Aquarius? Love forecast for you guys for what's coming in in the second half of December. That's December 15th through till the 31st. This is for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the Cross Watchers. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you can keep up with me as I do. Also guys, I do offer personal readings and all the info for that is in the description box of the video. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in please for my Aquarius, Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love, second half of December. Any love messages for my Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, second half of December. What can you tell my Aquarius, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus is coming in for them in the area of love, second half of December. Great. King of Cups, Nine of Wands, Page of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands. Okay. Aquarius, you've been dealing with a situation that um, you have a lot of love for a person. We've got a king of cups here. So this is water sign energy. You could be dealing with a cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, you're a little bit the wounded warrior. I feel like there could have been some conflict or some struggle with this person. Or perhaps that is sort of your energy. You feel like you um, have maybe a history where you are much the wounded warrior. You have dealt with some battles and maybe you're a little bit guarded with respect to this person or this person's quite guarded with you. Okay. You're sensing that they're a bit closed off. Um, five of wands to me means that this has been a bit of a struggle for you or you're feeling a little internal conflict with regards to this situation. There is an offer here on the table with the page of pentacles Aquarius. Um, and I do feel with the wheel of fortune, there's something quite destined about this connection. But like I said, with the five of wands, there's something going on within you where you are sort of struggling internally. There also could be outside energies that are influencing this connection that are causing a bit of struggle. And maybe you're feeling a little bit guarded, feeling like you need to guard your heart. Tell me about that. Yeah, two of cups. So this is a true soul connection, Aquarius. Um, you're either in a relationship with this person already or this is sort of where you're headed. Um, but there's a three of swords here. Okay, so there could be an outside energy. Now, Aquarius, this could also be the past playing um, playing a role in the present. Three of swords is heartache. And the five of wands, you know, and the nine of wands to me means that you could be, like I said, a bit wounded. Perhaps you are still kind of getting over something that you haven't completely released. Um, you do have an offer on the table, as I said, from someone that I feel has really true, genuine emotion from you, but it's like you are struggling a little bit, um, maybe to release something that has been hurting you. Or there could be still the presence of someone around because the Three of Swords and the Five of Wands, this is that sense of conflict, competition, drama. So either that could be on your end or on the person's end that you're dealing with, right? Um, tell me a bit about this Nine of Wands. Oops. Okay, three of wands, exactly. So you are looking to the future, Aquarius. I feel like you, you are looking to open up your heart. Um, three of wands is like looking to expand, looking to grow, looking to move forward. Seven of pentacles, you have invested in a situation and you're, and you're looking to see how this is going to play out. Um, tell me about this three of swords. The sun, yeah, exactly. I think um, Aquarius, you have a lot of happiness presenting now. You have the opportunity for a brand new and happy beginning with the sun. Um, it just involves you perhaps healing something from the past or something in the present that you know you need to completely separate yourself from um, in order to allow yourself to be sort of happy. Tell me about this King of Cups for Aquarius. Tell me about the King of Cups, the death card. Okay. The Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords and the king of pentacles. Okay. So Chris, it's also possible that you are dealing with someone um, who is closing something out themselves because we have the death card and this is a card of transformation. So the knight of swords and the king of pentacles and the eight of wands tells me that this person will be charging forward. And I feel like this is the person that is making this offer to you, charging forward towards you in the second half of December. Um, but cutting out perhaps something that is causing friction between the two of you with that five of wands. So you could be dealing with someone that also has an outside energy. Um, the Knight of Swords means abrupt decisions and this person cutting something away to come forward and give you loyalty and stability. The King of Pentacles is a loyal and stable king. The Eight of Wands is quick movement as well as the Knight of Swords. So if you have been closing yourself off a little bit from this person or you feel like this person has been closed off, I feel like there's going to be fast movement now in the second half of December for, 
for the, um, for something very solid and long term. Okay, we've got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy with the King of Pentacles. We've also got Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, strong Scorpio, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag, strong Leo with the Sun. Okay. Tell me a bit more about this Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is communication, it's movement, exactly. For a passionate new beginning with this person and Justice card, which is a card about balance. So this person, if something hasn't been um, quite right or off balance between the two of you, this is someone that wants to come in, they wanna meet you halfway, they wanna give you something very balanced and fair. Um, and fairness may involve them having to sort of eliminate something Sometimes guys also, you know, um, it's not about eliminating things in the present, but it's transforming, um, you know, the connection. So perhaps it's communication, perhaps it's being truly open. Um, perhaps both of you are doing the inner work to release some of this heartache. Maybe that's related to the past or there are present energies that need to be released or cut away. But I feel like this person wants to do the right thing by you and they also want to show you that they're loyal. Okay, loyal and stable and they have a lot of passion for you with that Ace of Wands. So I'm seeing happiness and new beginnings for you, Aquarius. Um, the Wheel of Destiny is turning in your favor and there is a transformation happening within this particular connection. Um, so I think that this person's coming in, they're coming in fast. Tell me about this Page of Pentacles. Yes, Page of Cups and the Moon. I feel like this person, they have a lot of emotion for you. Perhaps they've had difficulty expressing that. With the Moon card, this is often the hidden. It's also fears. So I feel like there could be some subconscious um, fears when it comes to relationships or um, expressing emotions because the moon and the three of swords is about heartbreak. Now this could be on your end as well, Aquarius, but I think that this person's coming in to make some kind of an offer to you. Um, Page of Cups can be a little bit emotionally immature, but this is a love offer coming through, okay? Um, so if you have taken a step back or you are in some separation from this person as well, it's like this person wants to come in. I think they also wanna clarify things because we've got the moon and the sun here. So we're going from the moon to the sun and you will be getting some kind of clarity with regards to this connection. Um, so I feel like this person wants to balance things out, make things right and probably express to you um, some things that haven't been said and show you that they're committed and loyal. Okay, Aquarius, I'm gonna get some cross energies on this person. This person's feelings and intentions towards Aquarius, please spirit. I just saw the King of Swords, which is about honest conversations. Let's see. Okay, the Empress. So you're coming up as the Empress Aquarius. So this, they're seeing you as very beautiful or attractive and that's the wife and the mother figure. So this person has the intentions to really grow and expand with you, okay? There is confusion here with the Seven of Cups and the Six of Swords, but this person wants to move away from confusion. Six of Swords is moving into smoother times. As I said, Five of Wands can be conflict energy. I think this person wants to eliminate what has been causing conflict and they wanna move into a better time with you. With the Seven of Cups, again, that could be outside influences, other cups um, on your end or their end. Otherwise, this is just emotional confusion and cloudiness. Now, you could be dealing with someone that lives at a distance over water with that Six of Swords um, or otherwise, this is just about moving forward, moving into a better time and growing and expanding with you. Taurus and Libra energy with the Empress card. Three of Wands, so you both have a Three of Wands. This is a sense of making plans for the future. Um, it's also, you know, waiting for the right moment. So perhaps this person has been taking some time out to kind of work through some emotional issues, okay? Um, and, and the cloudiness and confusion, because the Moon is also confusion and the Seven of Cups is confusion. So I feel like there's a bit of confusion and murkiness between you and this person. Uh, maybe they've been taking some time out and waiting for the right moment to move forward and move ahead. And there's the death card. So it's like, for sure, Aquarius double death energy. So maybe they have been um, waiting for the right moment because they needed to close something else out, okay? And maybe they haven't been completely open and honest with you. Um, this could be, like I said, it passed energy that hasn't been processed, something that needs to be healed. Perhaps they felt unready to kind of give you everything but i feel like this person is preparing themselves tell me about that death card yeah and they want to also end the conflict so death and five of wands and knight of wands so they want to end this conflict anything that is um, interfering with the connection that's been causing knight of wands is sort of on and off energy between the two of you now again aquarius 
I'm getting that these energies are transferable. So I feel like it could also have been you that's been sort of a bit in and out, on and off. Um, or may, perhaps both of you, maybe you're mirroring one another. But I feel, think they want to put an end to that. They want to move forward with you and they want to, as I said, grow and expand. This is divine feminine energy with the Empress card. So you could be dealing with a twin flame or a soulmate. Okay, what action are they going to take towards Aquarius now in the second half of December? What action will they take towards Aquarius? Wow. The Emperor, guys. Okay, so we have an Emperor and an Emperor. So what did I just say? Divine counterparts. This is husband and wife, mother and father. This is soulmate twin flame energy. Could be dealing with an Aries with that, but this is a match, okay? And the emperor is someone that wants to put the work or the effort in. So this person is coming in. They wanna put the work in, they wanna eliminate conflict and they wanna move forward with you and set up something very solid, okay? So I think that this person, they're doing the inner work um, and they're gonna be coming towards you and offering you something really, um, you know, serious and the wheel of fortune, that's destiny turning in your favor. So there is a turn and a transformation happening in this connection. Death card is about transformation. Okay. And we have double death energy. So stay optimistic. Spirit's telling you positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Maybe you have become a little bit, um, you know, less optimistic about love because maybe you've just been, you know, this is you, the wounded warrior. I feel like you need to close off to love, but I feel like Spirit is telling you, don't give up yet, okay? We've got separation, okay? So you could be in separation from this person, as I said, with that Three of Swords energy. But time apart, I feel, um, has given this person time to kind of work through some things, and probably you as well. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life. Well, that could also be a thing, you know? Perhaps this person, they felt like they needed to focus on their finances, on getting themselves really stable. You know, the Emperor card, that's a very stable energy. Um, so maybe that was a factor as well and being able to offer you something that, you know, is solid. King of Pentacles as well here is someone that's very um, solid financially, can build for the future. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations. as well. Of course, it's also possible there's differences between you two, hence why there may have also been a lot of conflict or some um, fears and moving ahead it could have caused um, difficulty for you guys but this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek okay Aquarius there you go so um, that's a positive reading I hope that that resonated for you Aquarius and if so you can give me a like and a comment as I said and I will check in with you in two weeks time lots of love